Stewart, you are it well. A lot of guitar parts on the original, um, both acoustics, 12 string, um, electric. It's quite hard to just play one part out of all of that. Um, I guess everyone is going to hear this slightly differently. But when I'm trying to do it, this is what I'm hearing. So for the intro, and that is open five, hammer on to the second of the five, open fourth, back to the second on the five, and back to the open four. So, so far. Then open four, hammer on to the four, back to the second on the five. So, so far. Second of the fourth, slide up fairly quickly to the fourth fret and then back down again. Repeat it, repeat it again. Repeat it again, then just open four. So. Finishes off with the open four, back to the second on the fifth, back to the open four. So, so far. Climb up to the fourth fret on the four. And then switch, because when you hit the chords, you really need your third finger um, leading. So, fifth of four. Seven, slide up to the ninth, back down to the seventh, and at that point you're fretting a partial A using the, that um, E shape. So seven on the four, six on the three, five on the two, and then you can let the first string open because it's just the octave of the, sorry, same note. So, and then on that, you're just basically picking backwards from the two, three, four, two, three, four. So, the whole um, the first half of the intro. First chorus starts, um, kicks in from a D, and that's the the beats where you get the I had kind of part of the start. So that when you hit the G, you're on the nothing, and the um, verse goes from a G to an A to a D. Then so. and starts from the D back to the A and then you have an ascending bass line from an E minor a D with an F sharp in the bass which is basically a D but you're fretting the second on the sixth string a G open um, fifth, second on the fifth, back down to open, and then you're into the A. The tricky thing on the timing with this one is the the G is transition that's only half a bar, so it gives um, it's a strange kind of thing to do, but really cool, um, just to have a half bar of something in the middle of um, a whole raft of standard. Um, bars. So the 
chorus part. On the A, it's just playing backwards from the first, second, third, first, second. Again, finishing on the um, first. If you prefer to just stick with the chords, then it would be. Same thing, just you're not playing the bass not so prominently, so that would just be E minor. version. Um, that repeats um, three times now, well, repeats twice more. Play it through again, play it through again. At the end of the third time you're heading into a bridge and that is And the timing for that one, again, it kicks off from a D and the it's the ain't and then the first syllable of the forgetting, the four, land on the D. Four, then G, getting G to A, sorry, G to D. G to D. G, A. Asus 4, which is putting your little finger down on the um, third on the first string. The instrumental section, um, if you're going to play it, um, is A. So two bars and then the, the chorus part. Then you're back into the verse chorus pattern with the the outro is really just played off against the intro. If you don't like the um, the instrumental part, because it doesn't really sound that great without the um, the lead over it, you can either play the intro part or just loop through the um, that chorus part with the ascending um, lick without the hanging on the A. So that kind of. you can also play for the outro as well. Um, really playing acoustically solo, you can play those bits any way you like. Okay, good luck with this one, hope it works. Mm -hmm.